Okay, so this mic sounds ghastly, but I, I thought I'd, I'd let you hear it so you understand my dilemma. I'm still in the process of trying to get a DI box for my audio external personas card because it's got a lot of interferences. So I'm using a headset with a cheap microphone on um, to, to at least be able to communicate uh, online sort of thing. But I wanted to make a video where I could have my audio being good quality and putting it through the Adobe podcast thing and trying some RX isotope cleaning up of noise. It just didn't get anywhere close to what I wanted. So I even tried doing the audio conversion with Neuter. I've got Neuter convert that into text and then use text to convert into speech. But there the, the timing is totally out. So even though I don't have the video on that can see the lip syncing, if I am doing audio to text conversion and then doing it the other way again, the, the timing of the video might be say five minutes but the actual video itself would maybe be eight or ten minutes because there's no pauses in between and phrasing lo and behold i'm fiddling with 11 labs and i i mean like i said it's i've been here years back and i see this speech to text feature now i read it and it kind of doesn't make sense to me create speech by combining the style and content of the audio file you upload with a voice of your choice after I fiddle with it, I actually realize what it's doing is going to take your your intonation, your style, your pauses, your breathing, everything like that. It pulls that in from your audio file um, and you can physically record here. I mean, I can press record and record an audio file and process it. Um, however, OK, maybe I, I will do that. But I also want to say that this voice that you're hearing now most, no, no, I think I'll leave it as is with all the kind of distortion so you can get the idea. So what is cool here, it takes everything about your speaking and it uses whichever voice you choose. So this is a middle-aged female. I'm going to choose, say, I'm going to do one with a, this George Royal. There's tons of, of voices, but I'm going to, and then choose the middle-aged female. Let me just go middle-aged female first pop this in here and you're going to hear the most incredible thing. For me, it is such a major plus because the time frame, the expression, everything, it's a clone of my voice, but using somebody else's things. This is, this is what it's doing. So I could literally create the videos and I could clone my own voice also. So I could create a clone here and just allocate it when I do this conversion. Then it will eliminate all this poor microphone and background noises. I could do my videos, pop it in here, use the clean sample I've got here, and A for away. Uh, it, we can get that going, but let me just show you. So yeah, I'm going to record audio. So I'm busy at the moment now recording the screen, so I'm going to just see here. Um, I'm going to press the mic. Okay, so this is the microphone recording. Now this section, I am going to cut out of the video when I'm editing and put what this program is actually doing. Now what you're hearing here is what's been processed through 11 labs. I'm speaking and it's going to use a middle-aged female. Okay, I'll do this section with middle-aged female and then you can hear about that. Let's just stop it here. Okay, so what I've got to do is click generate. Um, now it's going to play it back, but it might be a bit jerky because I'm screen recording, but I'll then download this file and then insert it into the edit so you can hear the nice clean uh, sound. So I'm going to click generate. Uh, once I'm done with this, then I'm going to change that to the other voice and just process that also. So we'll have those two. There we go. We're going to click generate. And we might not possibly won't hear this uh, as it plays. I'm going to insert it because I'm screen recording and I don't know if it's recording system audio also. But let's just wait for this to complete the generation. Okay, so this is the microphone recording. Now this section, I am going to cut out of the video when I'm editing and put what this program is actually doing. Now, what you're hearing here is what's been processed through 11 labs. I'm speaking and it's going to use the middle-aged female. Okay, I'll do this section with middle-aged female 
I mean, you can hear about that. Let's just stop it here. Okay, so that has actually played this part. It's actually very f kind of funny because it's a South African accent and it sounds like a, a South African woman talking with, with my accents in there. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to now generate for uh, this George, which is, I think, British deep voice. And we generate that. Let's see what that comes about. Remember, these two generated voices, I'm going to download and insert them there so you can hear them. Um, because I, I don't think it will come up on my screen recording, as I mentioned. But it is amazing, folks. Just amazing. Okay, so this is the microphone recording. Now, this section, I am going to cut out of the video when I'm editing and put what this program is actually doing. Now, what you're hearing here is what's been processed through 11 labs. I'm speaking and it's going to use the middle-aged female. Okay, I'll do this section with middle-aged female. I mean, you can hear about that. Let's just stop it here. Oh, boy. Nana, I am blown away. Uh, I, that said middle-aged female, of course, because it's the same PIX file. I didn't pretty create another... I mean, that same audio file that I use. Folk, if you're not impressed with this, uh, for me, it's a major plus. I'm looking forward to to creating a space now where I'm able to do my videos and then to use the voice. I'm going to create my own sample voice, like here you have this George and all those. Um, you can create your own actual sample voice. Once that is created and you're happy with that, then... When you're doing this, you basically use your own voice and it cleans up your audio beautifully like this with all of the expression. But if you want to sound like, you know, somebody else, then this is the tool. It keeps all those expressions so beautifully. So if you're not blown away, I don't know. I'm really excited about it. So Levin Labs, uh, kudos to you for an excellent, excellent tool. You've actually solved the dilemma I had. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it, uh, but I was trying to go from audio converting with neuter into text and then from text to speech. But the timing is way out of sync because there's, there's no relation between the two. Um, the actual audio going in just generates text and the text doesn't have any parameters with it and it's bad just generates audio. Whereas if you look here, you see it's 28 seconds. If you look at the generated file, there's 28 seconds. So if you're going to put it even with lip sync, I haven't guessed it yet, but if you're going to put it with your you speaking and then putting this over here, it should work because it, it follows all the times and the parameters and expressions. Uh, I'll test that and maybe I'll do a video if it, if it works there. For me, I don't do many uh, video and screenings of my face. I usually just do screen tutorials like this. So that might be of value. It's great value for me. So hopefully this uh, helps you and encourages you to do some great work. So be blessed and shalom to everybody.